What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ryan. I'm Junior. And this is The Real Strike. Yes, you heard us right. We are now The Real Strike. We decided to rebrand the channel. Our old name was The Real GPU. And simply put, we didn't think that that name uh, reflected what our channel was about anymore. So we decided to make a, a slight change. So today we're going to be doing a question and answers on our Tracker 1236 John Boat. We're going to be answering your most common questions that you guys ask us in the comments. So we literally compiled a list of about 10 questions that, we're, that we plan to get into depth about regarding our John Boat, such as, you know, the price of it, the dimensions, what we've done to it. And then pretty soon we're going to have a one year update video. So it's not only going to be about the questions and we answer in this video, it's kind of just gonna be like us kind of with an open mind, just talking about our experience with the boat over the year, uh, where we've taken the boat, how we've used it, how we like it, just kind of our personal thoughts about that. And without further ado, let's get started on today's video. Well, question one is what kind of John boat do we have? We have a Tracker 1236 wide John boat. And as far as why we got it in that specific size, it's because of like how we use the John boat. We like to fish in a lot of really small canals and we, we try to go near docks and stuff like that. This isn't an offshore boat by any means. When we do go offshore, we do take our other boat to go fishing. So we don't really need anything bigger. So I think that uh, John boat is really nice because it's also very portable, it's small. So we could trailer that around, put that in little canals and creeks and stuff like that where we can't fit a traditional boat. And remember, we're in South Florida, so like there's a lot of little canals, not necessarily in the Florida Keys, but there are a lot of freshwater canals. And to put a big 17 foot center console boat in those types of waters, it's really difficult to do that, really difficult to navigate and to transport. So because we have other boats that suit different, uh, like other purposes, this uh, John boat, this 12 foot John boat, helps us to do the type of fishing that we like to do when it's not offshore. In addition, for the most part, it's really just me and Ryan fishing. So it's a perfect two person boat. And sometimes even when I go fishing by myself, it's, you know, fits perfectly two people very comfortably. So we don't really need anything bigger than that. So our second question is, what are the dimensions of our John boat? So our John boat is a 12 foot long John boat and it's 52 inches at its beam, which initially when I first got the John boat, I thought it was really wide. It provides a lot of stability for it and I think it's really awesome. I think that having this 36 wide John boat really helps us out when we're out in the water. The John boat's 36 inches at the floor, which is why it's called the Tracker 1236, 36 inches wide at the bottom, which expands up to uh, 52 inches. And the transom height for this boat is 15.5 inches. The third question was, how much does the John boat cost? Now this is kind of a two part question because there's the essentials for the John boat and then all of the modifications that we've added to the John boat. So the boat itself costs $800, that's retail. We actually got it for like $100 off yeah. because of an annual clearance. We also got a trailer for it and that was about $700. It really depends where you get it from because I know from Bass Pro Shop, if you buy the trailer directly from there, it costs around 950, a thousand bucks. So where we got it from, it was much cheaper. And then our motor, we didn't bring this up in the first question, but our motor is the Mercury six horsepower outboard motor, which perfectly suits our needs. But that costs about $1,800. But again, the price will vary depending on where you get it from. So if you've been following up with our channel, you would know that we've added a lot of things, a lot of modifications to our John boat. And obviously we're gonna do a overview of how much that costs. Our casting deck in total to build it costs around 150 to $200 for all the, uh, the plywood, the carpet, all that stuff. For our fish finder, the whole setup cost around $150. And then in addition to that, we also had the boat seats, the boat clamps, and all that stuff all adds together to uh, making this whole setup, including the motor, the, the trailer, and the boat to cost around uh, $4,000. The fourth question is, what mods have we installed on our John boat? To start off, we made a hatch in the front bench of our John boat. There, we used that to hold all our essentials, all our emergency equipment, anchor, stuff like that. After that, we built a casting deck. Uh, you can check out our, our video on how we built that. So that casting deck also has a hatch that we can put uh, small tackle bags. It's just like a central storage location so that we don't have too many things all around the boat. 
the reason that this is really cool, first of all, it's a removable casting deck. So it's not attached to the boat. So we can remove it whenever we want to or leave it on. And then we use it as a platform. Since we do a lot of inshore fishing, there's a lot of fish that, you know, we need to see if whether there's bait that's jumping around in the water kind of to just target certain fish. And having that casting deck that allows us to get some elevation really helps us in targeting the fish that we're looking for. Another thing we added are clamp-on seats so we don't have to sit directly on the bench. We got removable clamp-on seats because we didn't want to drill any holes into the, the bench that we didn't need to. Um, that way we could remove the seats and it's much easier for storage. In addition, these seats are also swivel seats so they allow us to spin around 360 and gives us a lot of mobility while we're sitting down on the jumbo. Something else that we added that a lot of people have actually found it pretty cool. We have rubber mats that go on the floor of the John boat. So this is just to help us uh, get a grip on the boat because if it's not there, it's really slippery. There's a lot of water, fish guts all around the boat. So having this rubber mat that again is custom cut to the dimensions of the boat, uh, we have a better grip on the boat with our, with our shoes and stuff. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people have been asking us about that. The great thing about them is that we could easily just take them out of the boat, wash them, clean them, and just put them back in. We also have this fish ruler sticker that is attached to one of the benches of the boat. This ruler shows the legal size that you can take fish home. We catch a lot of mangrove snapper and the legal size is 10 inches. So we want an official way that we could measure those fish. We could technically have a, a ruler or some sort of tape measure with us but it's something more convenient. It's always with us. We will never forget that, that ruler since it's attached to the boat. And again, it shows the legal take home limits or size for pretty much any fish that you plan to take home. We also have custom rod holders. Now this along with the front hatch are the only exceptions to drilling into the boat. Uh, so we have two rod holders in the front of the boat and then two on the back that are angled out. So if we ever want to do some trolling, inshore trolling for jacks, uh, it's a little bit easier. The last thing we added to our boat was a fish finder. We have a Garmin Striker 4 fish finder and we attached the transducer from that fish finder onto the boat without having to do any drilling. So you could check out the video on how we did that. So the next question is, are there any mods that we plan to install on the John boat in the future? If anything, we're probably looking at a trolling motor. We haven't really done that because it's just expensive and there's a lot of work because you have to get like a marine battery for it and it's just a process. It would also have to be compatible with the casting deck that's up in the front. It just adds a lot of weight to having on the boat in addition to all the gear we have. So it's a, it's a tough fit. It's not out of the question, but as of right now, we haven't made any specific plans to add it. So our next question is, how fast does our John boat go? So as you know, we have a six horsepower Mercury outboard motor on the back of our John boat. And we actually did recently a video speed testing our John boat. So you could check that out. But basically an overview, our John boat goes anywhere between 13 and 18 miles per hour. This depends obviously on how much weight you have on the boat and the conditions that are out there. You know, if it's choppier, you're obviously going to end up going slower than on a flat day. And I know we've been saying check out this video for more information a lot, like throughout these questions, but we say that because in those videos, we go into depth about whatever topic that we're discussing. So in that video, we specifically tell you how much weight is on the boat, specifically how fast the boat is going and what condition the water is. So if you want any more detail than what we're telling you right now, go check out those videos. If not, that's fine. The next question that we've gotten a lot is, is the John boat stable? And we can say that it's pretty stable. We've handled boat wake. There's actually this one clip where we're trying to head out uh, from our property and there's a boat that's coming in and this is like a big 20 plus foot boat like full speed on the opposite direction of us and we thought that we were just going to eat it we thought the boat was going to flip and we were done for and our boat took that wake like a champ and that's great for fishing having this boat being that stable because for the most part we're going to be standing up while we're fishing and none of us are falling around stumbling because of the boat uh, rocking back and forth. So it's really good having this boat be stable. So the next question we have is how much weight can the John boat hold? 
So the max person capacity is 365 pounds and the max total weight on the boat is 480 pounds. Now obviously, in some cases we've gone over that limit having a lot of gear on the boat. As long as you use the boat responsibly and obviously don't you know, overfill the boat way too much, this boat can definitely handle a good amount of weight on it. So our next question is, how does a John boat perform in salt water? Now, a lot of times you see a lot of people fishing John boats mostly in fresh water. And honestly, when I got the John boat, I didn't expect to be doing a lot of saltwater fishing necessarily. I haven't really seen a lot of videos out there of people using a John boat out in salt water. So I wasn't really sure how this John boat was gonna be able to hold up in the salt water. But after having it for over a year, it's definitely held up really well. As long as you uh, clean the boat and maintain it yourself, the John boat will definitely last very long in the salt water. The coat of paint that comes with the John boat definitely helps keep it protected and keeps it from corroding. We also use uh, a product called Salt Away when we're cleaning the John boat, which helps protect it from the salt water. The last question that we'll go over for this video is how shallow have we taken the John boat? Now, Junior does all of the driving, so I'm gonna let him ex explain a little bit more, but we've taken the boat probably around one and a half to two feet and we've even gone as shallow as one foot now the problem is our outboard motor is a long shaft it's 20 inches so we can't run the boat as shallow as if we had a short shaft of 15 inch motor now when we get into really shallow water like less than six inches what i do is i raise the um, motor out of the water and i use a stick to push us across and then obviously if we had a trolling motor that would really help with the situation we could go into really shallow water but with our mercury motor, that's not possible. So we try to stay about one foot or deeper. So that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we hope you answered as many questions as we could of yours. If you have any more questions about the John boat, definitely leave them in the comment section below and we'll answer them the best we can. As far as our next videos, again, like we mentioned earlier, we do plan to do a one year update video of our John boat. That's going to go into more of like our personal thoughts and experiences with the John boat, not necessarily the questions that we've been getting about them. So stay tuned for that. We're going to film that really soon. But for those of you that have stuck around and watch our videos pretty regularly, we want to thank you. We've just recently passed 500 subscribers, which is something that we never thought we'd get there. We started the channel back in 2018 and the growth was very, very minimal for that year. And then in 2019, with the help of our John boat and our subscribers who apparently really like John boats, yeah. uh, the channel's Absolutely. taken off by our standards. So we want to thank you guys for that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.